actually crowd for such a small town. Just, just kidding, Susan, you're cool. <laughs> There's the tighter. Okay. Hey, we're already going. So we are born creative. I want to talk to you guys about creativity tonight. Um, we all have a brilliant imagination when we come out. We are smart, lively kids, and this is how we experience the world. This is how we learn. We play. As we get a little bit older, we get a little bit meaner. We try and fit in. We try and be cool, and it makes things a bit difficult for us. Um, we conform. From, excuse me, with the sniffle. Where's all that heckling you guys promised anyway? When we're a little bit older, individuality starts to make a comeback. Um, but we're afraid to step out completely on our own, so we do it with a crowd of people who want to act different just like us. And then we become adults, and we meet all sorts of super awesome people who are completely individual, unique, creative, and wonderful. Th those are my friends. Yeah. So creativity is great for a lot of practical things. We can do more with less. You hit, a th you hit up a thrift shop and you do something awesome on 20 bucks and you've got a decorated living room, you're doing good. Um, if you're a chick and you're making yourself chainmail bras, in case you guys saw that, that one was just a trip. I had to throw that in there. <clears throat> and think about how much those things would cost if you had to go out and buy them. What we don't want to do is imitate somebody else. You are your own sort of creative. Embrace that and be that. Um, but when you start out, you're going to make some shit, let's be honest. I mean, that, that's awful. These are things that I myself have created. And so are these. Slightly better, slightly upgraded versions. Maybe not amazing. Okay, I'm willing to take that. But better, right? I mean things I can be proud of, things that I've done all right with. And the important part is to keep practicing, right? Um, you're not going to be perfect on the first go, and you need to try different techniques. Find something that works for you. I think I've gotten ahead of myself now. So you have a lot of options. I mean a lot of options. If you want to be creative, if you want to be imaginative, you can really do anything. If you are a drawer, then get a paintbrush, get a pencil, and do it. If that's not your thing, maybe you need to do something a little more meticulous, a little more tedious, like me. You can write code, you can design, you can open up Illustrator, you can grab an X-Acto knife and take it to some paper and cut yourself out a unicorn. Unicorns are a good theme. You can cut out a picture of Tiger Woods if you want to. That's another one. Or go for that whole evolution thing and have it end in something funny. So the important part, be it Tiger Woods or unicorns, find something that excites you. Find a medium that excites you. Play around and get there. The creativity that you nurture in yourself is going to give you uh, a lot of advantages in the world. Yeah, I, I made that. That's the first time I ever cut something out with an X-Acto knife, and I did it freehand. And it looks funny, but I don't care. I am taking a better picture of that and submitting it to Tweety Got Back. <laughs> the thing is, you can go overboard. Um, Ed Hardy was, let's be honest, a great tattoo artist, but his vision got away from him, like all the way to Jersey Shore. Kate Goslin's haircut is admired and mimicked by people the world over, but when people start putting it on a hound dog, it got away from her. And, well, Homer bankrupted his brother with that car, right? It was a great car, just a little pricey. So tonight's theme is hope and danger. You guys already found that. I, in like a dark gray, it says, it's the theme behind that. Um, didn't work in the projection so well. Anyway, you're reading. It's all good. <laughs> so there are a lot of things to be hopeful about. And yes, uh, reasons to face the danger of putting yourself out there. My God, I shared my awful, awful art with you tonight, right? But putting myself out there worked. When I spoke at Ignite Boulder 5, all of those people that I had listed in that slide, most of them 
met me through that. Putting yourself out there is worth it. Be creative, be spontaneous, be fun, be imaginative, and um, let me know what you do with that. Maybe I'll talk about it at my next Ignite presentation. <laughs>